So, please put your hands together and welcome the Urban Folk Quartet and some others. Boats up the river and I walk on down. I believe in my soul. I'm a water bound. I'm a water bound. What I bound, I believe in my soul. I'm a water bound. If the river was whiskey, and I was a duck, I would tie down to the bottom. I would never come up. Saxophone player, it is 
Benny Hill, ladies and gentlemen. Benny Hill, here we go.
Dubrun and the fiddle, everybody. So listen, when I was little, I was in the circus. In fact, when I was 14 years old, I ran away from the circus. And uh, the thing is, if you've ever done that kind of thing, circus in your life, you're never allowed to forget it. We still now get album reviews and they mention the fact that I played the violin on a unicycle. You can't get away from it. So I've decided that this year, I'm knackered. <laughs> Sorry, was that an off mic? Uh, this year I've decided to embrace it and I've written three tunes all about those days in the circus. The first one is, uh, actually, I've just realized something terrible. Because I was 14, I was getting seriously into music, which is why I gave up the circus stuff, which probably means, <laughs> oh no, I'm the only person on the planet who chose being a folk musician because it was the secure career path. <laughs> <laughs> Open to me. Anyway, uh, so the first tune in this set is about a clown, so it's a very happy tune. And it's kind of sad at the same time, but it's happy and sad. But it's basically a happy tune. You get the picture. But kind of sad at the same time as being a happy tune. But it's basically it's a happy tune. Okay, so first tune's about a clown. It's a happy tune. Just kind of sad as well. Um, second tune is, if you look way up there in the, in the sky, you'll see the amazing stunts by the trapeze artists. That's the second tune. Some people looked good. And the third tune, you'll just hear me running away from the circus as fast as I can. Okay, you're right with that. Have you all got an imagination? Yeah. How about the rest of you? If you haven't, just, just pretend. That doesn't work, does it, really? No. I've been trying to work out, because this is a new set of tunes, whether to add a bit of weight to the story, whether I should do some kind of circus trick to introduce it. I don't know, that's a bit of a mixed response, that, wasn't it? I could do this, here we go.
on the trumpet. Thank you very much. We're going to carry on with... Uh, guys, knackering being in this band. Um, we're going to carry on with um, a couple of uh, tunes. Uh, the first one is um, one of Paloma's. It's a slow sort of one. Those at the front, you might wish to get your psychedelic dance moves on. Uh, this is a tune called Before... That's just like that. Exactly. Perfect. Um, so this is called Before Your Eyes. And then uh, the second tune is a tune of mine called The Whiplash Reel. Um, which I wrote after going to India in 2013. Um, God, it's bloody hot up here. Um, and um, basically, um, I was uh, invited as part of a project where there were like four Brits and six Indians, and we were sort of plonked in a hotel for uh, a couple of weeks, and they said, come up with some music. And they said there'll be an informal sharing at the end. Their idea of informal being extremely different from mine, because um, foolishly I admitted during the week that I happened to know one song in Hindi which was fine in the confines of a hotel. But then I discovered that the informal sharing was a gig to a thousand people in the center of Calcutta. And their sixth number on the list was Dan Sings in Hindi, which yeah. came... It was, it was a bit weird, because he was singing Super Trooper. <laughs> <laughs> well, quite. Um, but anyway, safe to say I didn't do that. But um, and I'm certainly not doing it now. But um, the tune I... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wow, that was a spirited boo there. Good. So, um, anyway, Whiplash Reel is, um, is uh, basically inspired by... I worked a little bit with an Indian singer who didn't really speak much English, so basically he would sing a phrase of music at me and then sort of pause and look suggestively at my banjo, You've got to stop saying that. so to speak. Um, and then, um, as if to say, can you play that? And then I tried and then discovered Indian music's really hard. But I thought I'd try anyway. So uh, I wrote a bunch of tunes that are kind of... Jigs and reels in form, but melodically owe a bit more to the Indian side of things. And this what is what of Dan's not telling you, he told us yesterday, I thought it was fantastic, is that uh, Dan's actually very famous in Calcutta. <laughs> Wherever he goes, he was... He didn't want me to bring this up again, but I thought it was really funny. He, whenever he's in Calcutta, for some reason, he gets stopped for photographs all the time. Because they think he's James Blunt. <laughs> yes. So... We have some CDs available. If you would like them signed, I can offer you a variety of signatures.
Okay, are you the kind of people that like to join in with things? Yeah. Okay, do this. I'm not at all offended that you just picked your own rhythm, that's fine. You go for it. Okay, this is a tune called The Beginning of the End, and it has an actual clapping part that we can't do at the same time as we're playing, so that's where you come in, okay? It's in 11-8, it just goes like this, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Are you okay with that? Okay, let's try it, here we go. Two, three, four. That's usually where I say, oh, now you're getting it, but I don't know. Um, okay, I'm gonna teach. This is a Bulgarian Kopernitz rhythm, okay? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you to be expert Bulgarian clappers now in three seconds. Are you ready to all do it perfectly? You just gotta say this rhyme to yourself 16 pints of lager, 16 pints of lager, do it! 16 pints of lager! Okay, superb, that's great. So you'll be alright with that, won't you? That's the A sections. Okay, the B sections of the tunes are slightly different because instead of being one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, they're one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And watch out for the seven, eight breakdown with the eight bars of four at the end. <laughs> Apart from that, just do it, it'd be the first audience ever. If you could just do it all the way from the start to the finish, it'd be fantastic, okay? You don't, I mean, don't worry about it because the tune only lasts for 27 minutes. <laughs> okay, are you up for it? Are you ready? Okay, so from the Escape album, this is the beginning of the end. It might actually be the beginning of the end as well. Oh, are you ready? Okay, I'll count you in. Ready? Cool. Some, this, this. <laughs> Doesn't say ready to me, I don't know about you. Come on, let's do it. Come on, you people sitting down there, wasting your own time. <laughs> And my time, <laughs> your parents' money. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, sixteen points. <laughs>
Great clapping. <laughs> Packet of crisps, that wasn't going to work. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'd just like to say how amazing you were at the clapping, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'd really like to say how amazing you <laughs> <laughs> We had a gig recently, and in the interval there, I was walking past a couple, um, and we just played this tune, and uh, he was saying to her, yeah, that clapping part, um, I don't think I got the rhythm right, but I was probably in harmony. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> Daylight or dark, it rain or shine It don't much matter down in the mine Where the tunnel's deep, blow the air is thin That's the way of life for the miner His lungs are weak is gone. His sixty years are playing a show. Spent half his life down in the ground. With steel hammer rings a mournful sound. I'll tell you some. Just two things I pray to see And that's the day my Savior calls me home And to see my son stop mining To make my living underneath this land And live and die Daylight or dark and rain or shine Don't much matter down in the mine Where the tunnel's deep or the air is thin Rain or 
How are you doing out there? Do you want to see if we can get some heating put on or something? I think, uh, I think it's a bit weird when you stand there and you haven't heard the, these guys talk or whatever. So, uh, I just, uh, Benny, do you want to come and say hello? Just, come on, Benny. You want to say hello to Benny, don't you? He's lovely, Benny. Come on, Benny. Come on, say, come on, say hello, Benny. Hello, everyone. This definitely wasn't rehearsed. <laughs> How's everyone doing today? <laughs> that's a uh, Benny. He's just getting too confident now. That's that's no <laughs> Benny Hill, ladies and gentlemen, on the saxophone. Now. <laughs> it's heat. We just need this little moment just to tune up. You're all right with that, aren't you? Sounds slightly better if it's in tune. Aria, do you want to say anything? To... No. <laughs> Ari loves talking to audiences. Come on, say hello. Hello. <laughs> Would you rather do it in Spanish? You can say, okay, here we go. Hola! <laughs> Don't applaud for that. That's... <laughs> okay, amazing. These are three brand new tunes now that were written by Paloma. Have they got any titles or anything? No. Oh, to Shrewsbury. Just won't go to you. Are you all tone deaf? Yeah. Okay, we can save a lot of time that way. We just. <laughs> Put your hand up if that sounds in tune to you. Excellent, that's good enough for me. <laughs> See, when we just take votes on things in this country, it works out brilliantly. <laughs> we get stuff done that way, you know what I mean? Nothing could possibly go wrong.
Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, you're lovely. <laughs> Love it here. Now, it's come to the point of the show when normally, spontaneously and without any provocation from us, the audience erupts Tom. into a... Tom, sorry, I've got to stop you there. Why? There's been a bit of a change of plan. It's not that point in the show. I don't, I just, I, I just, got, I just got a little tip off. There's a little change of the plans. So there's something else we've got to play now. Oh, okay. Can you come back to that thought in a minute? Yep. Is that all right? Hold on. Seamless that, that was. <laughs> because I've decided that we're going to play a tune that was entirely written, the whole thing, that was entirely written by Tom. It wasn't in the plan, but we're going to play it. It's a tune called All But The Hours, and he wrote the tune, the chords, absolutely everything. It's amazing, that, isn't it? Always gets a cheer just because he's a drummer. <laughs> just because I'm a drummer. <laughs> and it is a tune, well, anyway, I think we'll be all right in it. All But The Hours, it's a set of four tunes, All But The Hours, um, something else. Something else, what are they called? Charm Offensive, I think. And the last one's a tune called Yellow Car. Have you ever played Yellow Car? Yellow car is a very complicated game that we play in the van a lot. It goes like this. Just see if you can follow it. When you see a yellow car, you shout yellow car. <laughs> That's it. So we couldn't actually bring a yellow car in here. So uh, if you can just count to the fourth tune, are you all right with that? <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll, we'll make it obvious. We'll give the secret signal or shout yellow car or something. And at the fourth tune, when we do yellow car, you shout yellow car. That's what happens. Okay, is that all right? Yeah. The key is just to pretend you're enjoying yourselves. <laughs> are you all right with that? I'm just going to ask Paloma to talk to you for a second because she hasn't said hello yet while well, I just get my fiddle. Is that all right? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Paloma Trigas talking. It really is such an honour to be back at Shrewsbury. It's our favourite festival. What an amazing lineup you have this year. Wait a minute, can I just stop you there? Because, it, it, I, just because, sorry, I mean, <laughs> am I interrupting everybody today? I tell you to talk, yeah, sorry, sorry. Uh, just that I always introduce you, say that you're from Galicia in Spain, and then you just talk in English, and people always ask me after the show, they say, she doesn't look very Spanish or sound very Spanish. So can you just Spanish it up a bit? Hola, Shrewsbury, buenas tardes. Es un placer estar aquí. Lo que pasa es que si digo no, no, eso no, no me entiende. No, 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 I mean like, now we've got no idea what you're saying. Claro, es lo que estoy diciendo. Do, I mean like, think back. <laughs> can you think back? Did I just interrupt you again? Sorry. You, can you just think back? Think weeks back to when your English wasn't that good. <laughs> and just when you learn English and Spanish that up, that would be... Hello. It is a pleasure to be here. I feel like Manuel out of Faulty Towers, though. See, si, Senor Faulty, I learn, I learn, eventually. Anyway, I don't know what I'm doing now. <laughs> okay, here is All But The Hours with this brilliant tune that uh, Tom wrote to start off with. Here we go, here we go. Here's this tune by Tom, get ready. <laughs> Sorry, no, it's a great tune really. Sorry, Tom, I'll play it for you.
Thank you so much. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, it's come to that point in the show where normally, spontaneously, and without any provocation from us, the audience erupts into a fusion of Kaylee dancing and rave dancing. But I'm looking at you, Shrewsbury Folk Festival. It's a little bit Saturday afternoon and most of you are sitting down. So if you're not quite ready to join the lunatics down the front, I've got a favour to ask of you, just for me, if you will do this for me. I want you to, right now, picture your current seat dancing comfort level. You know what I mean, seat dancing, right? It's all the fun and only half the embarrassment? Because <laughs> you sat down? Yeah, okay. Well, I want you to picture that and just raise it by one notch just for this next tune. So, w w I'm, I've seen a few people tapping their feet. You know, if you're into tapping your foot, maybe today is the time to throw off your shackles and embrace the full two-handed lap pat. <laughs> and there's, there's lap patters out there, I know, who are quite established in lap patting. I think today's the time that you go for the bum shuffle. <laughs> yeah, and if you're feeling really adventurous, we have a very simple dance which we take with us wherever we go. You take your hands like this. Yesterday I said at that point, uh, you know, this isn't the telly, but I can actually see myself on that screen, right? That's really weird. So you take your hands like this and you go, big fish, little fish, cardboard box, big fish, little fish, cardboard box, and repeat. Oh, look at you go, what a vision. <laughs> what's, uh, Paloma, what's big fish, little fish, cardboard box in Spanish? Oh, I'm rubbish at translating. Um, pez grande, pez pequeño, caja de cartón. Catchy, huh? <laughs> Beautiful. Beth Grand, no, they don't want to do that. <laughs> Tom, what is it in Geordie? In Geordie, of course, it's big fishy little dishy board comes in now flower. <laughs> Penny man pet. <laughs> is anyone from anywhere else? Does anyone else need a translation? Oh, okay, God. let's do it then. Let's do it. Should we do it? The super offbeat return. Let's see you move. <laughs>
Okay, everybody this time. Everybody this time. Here we go. mental crazy one for you to jump up and down to. Should we do that? Yeah. Let's get UFQ Classic back on, shall we? Should we do this? We'll do our favourite finishes in just a couple of minutes. Cajun Bean Curd to finish, OK? You all right with that? We've got some cheers for Cajun Bean Curd. Please get yourself a CD when you, uh, when you leave so that we can eat and think luxuries like that. And uh, we will see you again sometime. Here's Cajun Bean Curd to finish. Here we go. And do come and join us on our travels. Say hello on Facebook, Instagram, all of that while we're uh, zipping up and down the country for the rest of the weekend. We'd love to hear from you. guys back on. Let's do that. Let's bring everyone back on. Let's bring everyone back on. And I tell you what, play that little bit before. We'll all jump 
everyone will jump together, everyone that's here, and we'll all go absolutely crazy for the last 60 seconds. Should we do that? We don't care about the heat, do we? Come on, let's do it. So it's the craziest thing. Play the bit before, we'll jump, they'll jump, it's gonna be, okay. <laughs> 